What is up, fellow YouTubers? It's Friday, the 7th of December. And as they say, the early bird always gets the worm. Yeah. I've been making a habit of sleeping until about 12.30, 1 o'clock, and... I guess today my body decided to wake up a little bit earlier, but for good reason. <clears throat> I got wands to finish for Etsy. And the sooner I get them done, the better. The sooner I can get them done, shipped out, the sooner I can start on the next batch. You know. Although the smell of spray paint can be pretty overpowering, that's why I'm only doing like two wands at a time when it comes to the painting you know and I also put the Hogwarts crust Harry Potter blanket down by my front door so that way the smell of spray paint doesn't leak into the hallway if I can help it yeah because not everyone's going to be a fan of the smell of acetone <laughs> Now what I'll do is I'll spray paint it over the garbage can. That way it doesn't get all over the place. And then shake the excess off. And then I'll stick it in the vice clamp. And for the first half, the second half doesn't take that long to dry. And then... But yeah, so far I've gotten... I managed to make... 18 wands before I ran out of sandpaper, which that's a nice healthy amount. Yeah, cool beans, man. <sighs> but my wands are not the topic of this particular video. So I went to a friend's house last night to hang out and, um, There is this dude over there, and some of my friends are a little bit older, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe it's just weird, but I have an easier time making friends with older people than I do people my own age sometimes. Just how it is, I guess. That could be the autism, I don't honestly know. But... This dude was over at my friend's house, and he got together with this chick, right? He got his dick wet, and he's complaining about it because the chick is all causing trouble and shit. Making his life hell. <sighs> you know, if people are trying... And that's the thing of it. This chick that he got Nookie from is a bit of an alcoholic, and, you know... I'm not going to name names or anything like that, you know. But from an outsider's perspective, <coughs> I was like, bro, you got to hit it and quit it. If this chick's causing drama in your life, get her out of your life. I don't care who it is. And he chuckled at that. He's like, <laughs> And I'm like, dude, at least you got some. You know. Uh, and at the same time, I'm like, dude, I haven't had sex in a whole year. You don't see me complaining. <laughs> you know. Mm. And some things are just worth the wait, right? Which brings me to my next point. If somebody is actually treating you right, why fuck with them? Why start a bunch of drama? And when everyone else around you is trying to get you out of their life, that's because there's a problem with you, you know? I like to drink and have a good time, but... You know, you can't let it control your life, dude. 
And it's the same thing with sex, okay? You can't let pussy control your life. <laughs> But it doesn't do you any good to hook up with somebody who don't appreciate you. I'm just saying. I am just saying, man. Like, straight up, dude. Find yourself a girly. If you're, if you're a girl, find yourself a guy or whatever you're into, you know. Find you somebody that'll... Whatever you're into. Like, I don't give a shit what your sexual preference is. That's none of my business. You know, I'm not here to judge, man. I'm not a Christian, but here's the thing of it. Only God can judge, right? <laughs> Only you can judge. I guess it depends on your definition of God, right? See, I believe in the uh, inner God instead of, you know, way up here kind of thing. So when someone says only God can judge, I'm like, well, you're kind of right. Only I can judge me. Yeah. And believe it or not, they do have Christian Wiccans. I've seen it. I mean, it's a bit weird, but eh, to each his or her own, as long as they're not physically harming anybody, you know. But now when I look at this dude and said that, he's like, oh, wow. Thank you for saying that, he says. And he goes, it's just the way he looked. He was like saying with his eyes, like, oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah. And then my friend and her daughter confiscated a small bottle of Fletchman's vodka from one of their friends. Because one of their friends, and I quote, says she's done drinking and she needs help. So that's when friends of mine just say, okay, then give it here. You know, and I walk over there last night and they're like, hey, you want some uh, alcohol? And I'm like, you don't got to tell them, ask me twice. <laughs> what you got? And I go, well, here's this free bottle of Fletch Mitts, and I'm like, hell yeah. I mean, I'm not going to bitch when someone gives you free alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Other than their company for friendship, I guess. That's pretty much the only thing I got. And, uh, yeah. No, I don't go into um, detail about it because, you know. But, um, yeah. <sighs> but going back to what I said, the early bird gets the, gets the worm. Yeah. Now, some other friends of mine, they have, I think it's their niece, yeah, and they asked me if I can make a wand for her, for their niece, these, these other friends of mine, and I'm like, I can, yeah, and they told me she had a low self-esteem, and I'm like, well, I can relate to that, is what I tell them. Uh, I don't know, when you're used to a certain treatment, you know what I'm saying, it can mold your self-esteem, and don't let it, you know? Like, if you get rejected all the time, try not to let it mold your self-esteem too much. If anything, you should use it as motivation. Strategize.
Yeah. And if you're getting rejected by women all the time, maybe it's not the game. Maybe it's just you and the way you're doing things, man. So, <laughs> you might want to rethink your strategy, yo. And you might be surprised. It's no different than, okay, you're applying for several jobs. You're applying for several jobs, and then you get turned down a lot. Maybe it's not the job market. Maybe it's the way you present yourself. Yeah. Now, a lot of chicks reject me because of the whole goth thing. I could sit here and say how unfair it is that women just assume I'm some creep because I dress goth. Yeah, that's no different than women getting the assumption that they're a slut because they dress, you know, more revealing-like. Maybe they like dressing revealing-like because maybe some chicks who would dress in a more revealing manner, but not too revealing, it's still tasteful, you know. Maybe they do it because it makes them feel sexy and they're comfortable with it, you know, and they're, it makes them feel comfortable. But you see these women who dress in a more revealing manner and they get perceived as being slutty. It's unfair, but it's life. You know, and I actually sympathize with them on that a little bit because it's kind of the same scenario. I mean, not quite the same scenario, but kind of. Women look at me and go, who the fuck is this creep? Ugh. Now, it's either that, or to some women, I'm so good looking, they don't talk to me. They're just like, nope, I'm not talking to this guy. You know, see, I'm, I'm not going to focus on the women who are creeped out by me. I'm going to focus on the women that accept me. And that's good advice. You know what I'm saying? Case in point, if I'm into heavy metal and rock and roll and that sort of thing, wouldn't it make more sense to get with a chick who likes heavy metal and rock and roll? You see what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Seriously, you find a chick that you have a couple of things in common with? Yeah, man. Uh, just because you have a couple things in common with them doesn't necessarily mean they're the one, but, you know, it just helps to date people that have more in common with you, you know? That's good advice, and write that down for those of you who are single and miserable because of it, and that's the thing of it. A lot of the misery that we receive from being single, a lot of that is propelled by society's bullshit and by society's double standards and high expectations. <sighs> Society, for whatever reason, YouTube, likes to make people feel like shit for not having a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a significant other half. And on top of that, they also make you feel like shit for your body, too. It's like, really? <laughs> the fuck is that? <sighs> because I don't want the spray paint smell to be overpowering. I'm doing two wands at a time. And if I get up earlier... I'll get them done faster. You know what I'm saying? Spend my Friday afternoon getting wands painted. Yeah. A lot of women just assume I'm a creep because I dress goth, and I'm like, well, honey, that's your loss, not mine. It's like when you're tired of dating 
asshole little boys and you want a man, call me. <laughs> Hit me up on Facebook. Oh, wait, I got a ban. Look me up. <laughs> yeah. Smoking some Cherokee Red Pipe Tobacco. This is some good stuff. I left the bag open so that way it can dry out a little bit. With this kind of tobacco, I like it to be a little bit drier. It smokes better, in my opinion. But, but yes, YouTube, the early bird always gets the worm. I woke up. I didn't want to wake up. I wanted to continue sleeping, but then I saw it was daybreak, and I'm like, well, what time is it? I look over, and it's like a little after 8, and I'm like, well, shit. I'm like, shit, man. I gotta get up and get going. Otherwise, these wands ain't gonna finish themselves. It'd be nice if I could wave my own wand and be like, abracadabra, and they'd be done. But it don't. it doesn't work like that. Yeah. It might have been the, usually I don't get like that when I'm on alcohol, though. But last night I came home kind of depressed, and then I, I went to bed and got over it. Uh. Uh. Usually I don't get like that when I drink, but... That's not going to happen again if I drink. I know that. Maybe it's just... I don't know. When I heard some dude much older complaining about this chick that's in his life, and I'm like, dude, hit it and quit it. You know? And I wasn't the only one saying that. All my friends that were there were like, you know, hey, giving this guy the same advice. And if you got a chick that's causing you trouble and you're trying to take care of her, get her out of your life. You got a dude that doesn't treat you right, get him out of your life. Life is too short, and you don't need some asshole making you feel like less of a person for trying to date them. That ain't right. No, but when you find yourself a good girl that sticks with you, you know what I'm saying? It makes a world of difference. It can, at least. Yeah. I may not be the richest man in the world, but I give my relationships 110%. You know? You're going to assume that I don't treat... If you're going to assume that I don't treat women right because of the way I dress, you're an asshole. Straight up. Uh. <coughs> Someone says, hey, you want a drink? A buddy of ours is trying to quit drinking, so here you go. Hell yeah. Oof. And Fletchman's Vodka, it's good to, to a degree. I like it. But I, I can't drink it straight. That's just, oh, dude, that's harsh shit, man. So you want to mix it with something like some pop, you know, that softens it up a bit. Or some eggnog. Uh, vodka and eggnog is a weird combination. I will say that. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. 
Who? <coughs> it's enough of that nicotine for a minute. <coughs> I don't know if drying it out made it harsher, but I like it. I don't have to smoke a whole bowl of tobacco to get my nicotine fix for the morning. That's nice. Uh. But yeah, no, don't let people stop you or ruin your life, dude. It ain't worth it. And that's the thing of it. Is if you're a problem for other people... If you're a problem for other people, get your shit together. Seriously. If you're at that point in your life where you're problematic for other people, get your shit together. You know, if you got people trying to reach out to you, or people saying, yeah, this person, blah, 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 needs to get their life together then that's probably the best advice you're going to hear from anyone, you know. And some people are just a mess, dude. It's life. I mean, I have my moments, I will not lie. I have my moments, but... Yeah. And yes, a magic wand can be used to boost someone's confidence. You know. It inspires creativity. And for women especially... It teaches them to embrace their inner female goddess. Oh yeah. This is something that most women don't realize, but you can use magic to empower yourself as a female, both literally and mentally. Yeah. Sometimes I'm walking around town, waving my wand here and there, and making things happen in an instant, you know. That's the cool thing about practicing magic, is you can gain knowledge, and you can also empower yourself. Not only can you empower yourself, but you can help your life and the lives of others. But if you're going to practice magic, be very careful. It's a lot more difficult than just going to church every Sunday. It can also, if you're not careful, you open up a gateway that you have no control over and it can, you know, do some stuff, you know. So be careful when you're practicing magic. Tread lightly. You know the age-old expression, walk before you run? Yeah, that expression is especially true when it comes to magic. You want to walk before you run, you know. Yeah.
you can't let, I mean, when life kicks you in the nuts, you got to get back up. Plain and simple. When um, life kicks you in the nuts, you got to get back up. Because if you uh, you let life take you down, you're gonna stay down, and you're gonna be in a, a horrible spot. Yeah. So don't let life keep you down. That includes people as well. Life kicks you down, you say, is that the best you got, and you get back up. Life kicks you down, you get back up, is that the best you got? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can do anything you set your mind to. And the thing about having actual uh, superpowers, if you want to call it that, is there is some science to back this up. If we actually use, we only use a third of our brain for basic stuff like touch, smell, and all that sort of thing. But if you can learn to unlock your mind so that you're using 100% of your brain. Oh yeah, you can do some cool stuff. The power of the mind is a very wonderful thing. You know, people who have managed to do this can levitate, they can move stuff with their mind. It's some cool shit, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. So you see these Tibetan monks who are just so advanced that they do these cool things like levitating, chi balls and that sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, I've started to use more of my mind. Case in point, you know. I've made uh, chi balls appear between my hands. And um, I've made them visible enough to where you can actually see different colors of chi floating between my hands. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't judge other people for their religions. I have my own. So, yeah, you know. Because life is too short to be judgmental. Yeah. Anyways, this is King Cobra JFS back at you with another provoking pipe thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you cool cobras later.